There will be only one autosave in the game. After that, everything that happens will be irreversible until you finish the experience. When you pause the game, the gameplay will not stop. You'll only be able to change the settings, but the game itself will continue. I designed it this way so that you cannot avoid fear in crucial moments. Death at the hands of a paranormal entity does not mean you will have to start the game from scratch, although it does impact one of the three endings you can unlock. The game was created by a single dev and lasts around two hours. Good luck! This game is called Supernatural, everybody. Detective Wyatt, man, I can't believe I'm talking to you. I've been a huge fan of your work, especially that Sakamoto case. The way you crafted was pure genius. Your dedication is legendary, and that's why I knew you were the right person to reach out to. I've got that is such a cute cat. Situation at my place that's been keeping me up at night. Well, Colton, I appreciate the kind words. Nice to meet you. Now, tell me, what's going on? It's about Mrs. Thank Sue. you, Rebel. Like I mentioned in the evening. The Is this the FOV? Fiance, Kaylee, and me around the house. We brought her in because she seemed My God, is there a twister going on outside? She's Jesus. Family, living right next to our house. About a week ago, she disappeared. Gone. Not answering calls uh, at her usual hours. Thank you, Cloud Mark, for the raid and the resub and the tier two. That's thank you. Nice to see you. What are we up to? Anything unusual about her behavior before she vanished? Yeah, that's the thing. She started acting strangely, calling us by different names, humming these bizarre tunes. It really freaked out Kaylee. She went to stay with her parents for a bit. I couldn't just leave Mrs. Susan alone. I thought maybe it's dementia or something. Can you look into it, detective? Thank you, Face Jobby. Oh, and don't worry about Bashka. Hopefully, she'll still be sleeping when I get back in a few hours. But I gotta warn you, she can be one noisy little girl sometimes. I understand, Colton. I love docs, and I'll start an investigation right away. You go be with Kaylee. And about the money, don't worry. You'll find Mrs. Susan. She's been like a grandmother to you two, right? Absolutely, Detective. She's been like family. We don't have much, especially after buying this house. But Mrs. Susan means everything to us, you know? Well, I'm heading straight to Kaylee's parents now. Please, give me a call as soon as you find out anything. We're really worried about her. Yeah, I think the game volume right now is low, just to bait the player oh my god the sensitivity it's like butter in a hot pan i try and turn it up though like where the hell the, this option menu was like who's this made for Twister! Hello! One second. Wait, did it not save? Wait, am I crazy? Okay, it's not saving. Wait, why isn't it saving? Whatever. Chopper? Oh, never mind. 
Uh, thank you, Cult Sorge. I hope your stream went well, Cloudmark. Thank you again for the raid. All right. Where's the old lady? Damn, girl! Not now. I have other things to do. Not now. I'd better get back to it. I shouldn't touch his personal stuff. Yeah, we only played one game, but it was really fun. Okay, move the camera to find a clue. To examine it, hold down the zoom button. Weird symbol. I wonder if it could relate to the case. Guys, do you think it's gonna relate to the case? Chat. The same symbol. Funko Pops. Everyone in my chat loves Funko Pops. Ultrasound of a child. Probably the client's fiance. Fiance. Why is it written here? He sort of. How long do I have to wait? He sort of talks like um. What's his name from? Dead Rising. Frank. All right, I guess maybe I should just go downstairs. Hello? Is someone there? It's me, Bakpa Soup. Legendary, legendary streamer. Hello? Ma'am? Big tub. Hello? I think we beat the game. Hey! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Thank you, Face Jobby, for the gifted membership. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up! Wake up! Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up! The mic recognition isn't working. Are you guys scared?
Hello? This is Stevens? You here? I'm here with Jerry's plumbing. This is Stevens. Mrs. Stevens. Hello? Hello? Jeremy? Jeremy. Game is pretty scary. What am I supposed to do? I assume we're just supposed to run around and just do whatever and then stuff will happen. I, I have uh, no clue. Is this game supposed to be like PT? Thank you, Mariner. The power went out, or that door, that. Thank you, dude. Was that you? Thank you. Take out the trash. Yeah, it should be like all the other horror games. Let's take out the trash. I like that there's a hurricane going on. I really like that atmosphere. Let's just eat something. I'm hungry as fuck. Almost like my place. Almost like my place. Almost like my place. Almost like my place. Really burnt carburetors. I was just thinking that. Something's been burning here. Yeah, probably the fucking cook sucks dick. See you around. Oh shit! Yo, Afro Jack with the hundred gifted subs. Jesus Christ. Thank you, dude. You are always insanely generous. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The hundred. That's a one and two zeros. Holy fuck. Hey, Jerry. Jerry's going to show up now. Thank you for the hundred. Enjoy, everyone. If you got a gifted sub, make sure to thank Afro Jack. Enjoy the Discord, the ad free viewing. Another child victim? The. God. Please, no. Emotes. Zach is loving the horror games. Loving them. Thank you, sir. These drawings are unsettling. You are extremely generous. Do you have a child they didn't tell me about? Interesting. The Afro Jack. DJ Extraordinaire. Hello? Jerry? Yeah. Jerry? 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 I 
thank you again, Afro. That's great. You guys don't have to watch ads anymore. Isn't that Pog? Nice background. I don't notice. No, I can relate. Same. I always miss my bills. I hope everything works out for them. Sometimes I have like a stack of mail as high as a tall building. So hard to be young these days. He is truing. He is truing. I'm sorry if that hits too close to home for everyone in chat because this chat is very young. Jeremy! Where is everybody? Hello? I'm getting scared, guys. I'm getting scared. Where's the first jump scare? Just get the first jump scare out of the way and I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Alright, I'm locking in, guys. I'm locking in. It's immersion time. the hell is this piece of shit? Oh? Dr. Grant? We have power. Alright, Jeremy! Jeremy! I'm scared. Where's the stuff? Isn't there supposed to be a woman here? Where's the woman? 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 Jeremy! Okay, there must be some clues to search for in this room. Okay, let's look. Oh, a PS triple. Slick black. Oh, look at that stereo system. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. That's the exact kind of shit I ride with. A ton of women's laundry. She overlooked it or did she set it up? It's too much of it for it just to be a weird coincidence. The only autosave has just occurred. Mother of balls, boys. Holy mother of shawlies. All right, let's go. Permadeath. Yeah, the sound effects are way too real. I keep thinking someone's in my pants. Hello? Chase down a pass 
password for another two hours again, I'm out. What? Hey, Kaylee, if you forgot your computer password for the hundredth time, I've scattered your toy figures around the house. I've labeled the boxes with your login and password. First is the chicken ski. Then the cow ski, then the rabbit ski. Okay, guys, can you remember this? Because I sure fucking can't. What the hell is this shit? All right, is this all the Funkos? Katsuki. Three. Yeah! Now, can I get a thank you streamer for not turning up the volume when everyone told me to turn up the volume? Can I get a thank you streamer? Thank you for being a conditioned streamer. Someone that knows way too much. Robotski, four. Hey, hey, Jeremy, Jeremy. It's me! Thank you, Cecil. Thank you, Dacus. Hello? Is anybody here? It's Jeremy. It's Jeremy with Jeremy's Plumbing. I don't want any trouble. Where's the number on Teddy Ski? Oh, three, seven. Holy fuck. Okay, that freaking door creak sound is getting me Hello. fucked. This is an automated message from Pulse Grainer Bank. We regret to inform you that your mortgage payment for the property is currently overdue for $95,331. Mamma mia! Please be advised that it is imperative to settle this outstanding payment as soon as possible to avoid any further complications. Your prompt attention to this matter is greatly appreciated. If you have any questions or concerns Mama regarding mia. your mortgage payment, please do not hesitate to contact our customer service department. Thank you for your cooperation. He wasn't lying about their financial situation. All right, let's, uh... Fish ski, are you fucking... Look, look chat, it's, it's plastic wrap and paper towel. All right, are we missing one? Ah. Clownski. Five. Hmm. 
my dad here oh here guys I'm gonna do something that is scary and also it'll help you know you're not alone ones in the chat if you're in crippling debt Oh yeah, billionaire streamer Runebe one. Oh my God, spare us, bro. Spare us. Millionaire Playboy streamer types of one. Okay. I'm closing my door. Thank you, Jesse. All right, what the hell is the stupid password? Chicken ski and fucking... God damn, dude. All right, so what the hell is going on here? Okay. First is chicken. Chicken, cow, rabbit. Did anyone actually pay any attention as I was doing all this shit? Dude, why is this not working? Someone knows, right? Yeah, one sec, I got all tab. Oh, I can see them when I'm all tabbed, of course. All right, so clown is five. Where's my notes? Where's my pen? Where the hell did my pen go? All right. All right, I got a Sharpie. I got a Sharpie. All right, so. 07415. Okay, wait. Is you guys lying? Wait, what is that? Is that the pa is that the login? 89263. Hello! Babe, oh! it is Kaylee. Have you fixed your cam yet? I was thinking we could have a little, you know, hour time while she's away. Oh, hey, Bella. <gasps> yeah. Kaylee's with her parents tonight. What's up? Seriously? 
You sound a bit off, babe. Is everything okay? I was really looking forward to seeing you. Yeah, just a bit tired. You know, it's been a hectic day. Tired, huh? You sure? You sound like something's up. I was really hoping you'd come She sort of looks like me. What's the deal? Just need a bit of downtime. Mrs. Down. Susan is missing. Mrs. Susan is missing? You're being a bit vague, babe. I was really hoping to spend some alone time with you. What's the real story? Look, it's just not a good night, and I need to take it easy. Listen, Can't psycho. Some other time? Who the fuck leaves sure, a, a, you're a, a, not fooling me. Who? Why are you being so distant? We had plans, and now you're backing out. Bill, it's not the right time. I promise we'll make up for it. I need to go, man. I catch up later. Kaylee won't be thrilled about this. What the hell was going on there? Um. So. Check the cameras. What's going on? What's going on? Holy! F uh, uh, sit, 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 sit. I need to get up. Get off the computer. Wait, so I said someone outside the door? Jesus, lady. Coming! Can you stop? Wait, I thought the dog was down here. Crawler, 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 crawler. Crawler. Hey, buddy. Lay down. Hey, thank you, Mikey. I appreciate the $10. Been feeling down. You always cheer me up. Oh. Thank you, Mikey. You guys cheer me up too. Ah. Is that Mr. Will Shan? Will Shan of the house, everyone, slam your doors. Hype. Oh God, back on the computer. Crawling. Where the hell's my mouse? Giggle. Uh, thank you, Absolute Zero. Thank you, Jesse. All right, Crawler. Oops, fellas. I wasn't paying attention. I was so just focused on all the chatters and, and how much they mean to me. And, um, yep, everything else went blank. Un uh, okay, remembering Miss Susan Crawler, a tragic loss sparks a community's reflection on mental health. Can you quiet back there, lady? On July 15th, 2020, the small town of Greenfield, Pennsylvania, was rocked by a tragedy that left its residents in shock and mourning. 80-year-old Miss Susan Crawler, a beloved member of the community, had taken her own life by hanging herself from a tree in her backyard. 
Uh, the news of her passing spread quickly throughout the town. With many struggling to come to terms with the loss of such a cherished member of the community, Miss Crawler was known for her kind heart and generosity towards others. She, uh... She uh, volunteered at the local senior center where she spent countless hours knitting blankets and scarves for those in need. Her neighbors described her as a gentle soul who always had a smile on her face and a warm greeting for everyone she encountered. However, despite her ongoing personality and dedication to helping others, Miss Crawler struggled with depression and anxiety for much of her life. She had been receiving treatment for these conditions, but it seems that even with therapy and medication, she could not find peace within herself. In the days following her death, the town came together to honor Miss Crawler's memory. A memorial service was held at the local church where dozens of people gathered to pay tribute to her life. And he spoke of how much she meant to them and how her impact would be felt for years to come. Two years later, the wounds of Miss Crawler's suicide are still raw in the hearts of those who knew her best. While there is no easy answer to why someone would take their own life, it is clear that mental health struggles can affect anyone, regardless of their age or circumstance. It is hoped that Miss, though Miss Crawler's tragic passing, through Miss Crawler's tragic passing, more attention will be brought to the importance of mental health awareness and resources. Thank you, Incentives, for the Prime. Thank you, Sleep God, for the raid. And thank you, Absolute Zero. All right. Well, Miss Crawler, that sucks. Miss Crawler? Miss Crawler? Miss Crawler? Miss Crawler? Miss Crawler? Miss Crawler? Miss Crawler. Put me down, Miss Crawler. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Miss Crawler. Thank you, Klalix. Just stay quiet for a sec, okay? I need to tell you something. 
So I did some digging online, and guess what? Mrs. Suzanne died some time ago, three years to be exact. Isn't this crazy? I mean, why didn't we hear about it right when it happened? Why have we seen her this whole fucking time? Something is not right here. It's like someone wanted to sweep it under the rug or something. This is all so bizarre. I need some time to process this, and you should probably see a shrink or something, unless this is some damn ghost business. I'm done. Don't try to reach out to me. I'm dead serious. Divine, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Irritate di pochir de Kistian.
that she can hear us when I talk. And you guys are getting mad at me because I'm not... Just let me play the goddamn game. Come on. You guys are gonna get me killed if I have to keep fucking talking. Oh, Grandma! Holy shit. Okay, Haxors, Haxors. Where the pallets at? Stopping. I stopped. What now? Granny. Why are you here? I need to use the bathroom. Where is what? where is your bathroom? I'm sorry. No, I, I didn't mean it. That's why the game earlier said that there's only one autosave, but in reality there's like 30. Granny needs a spanking. Granny, I'm sorry. Apologize. Everything I did, I did for you, Granny. Ask for cookies. Hi, can I get some cookies? Hey, Granny, can I get some cookies up in here?
Hey, Granny, can I get some cookies all up in here? Granny! Yo, Granny! I'm playing World of Warcraft. Can I get some cookies up in here? Granny! My flashlight's still on. Can't turn it off. Granny! Does she do something special if you ask for cookies? Cookies! Granny, can I get some cookies all up in here? Can I get some... Can I get some cookies all up in here? Can I get some cookies, Granny? Cookies. Cookies, Granny. Cookies. Cookies, can I get some cookies? Can I get some cookies all up in here? Guys, who am I? Who am I? Why? Why? Guys, who am I? Who am I? Why? 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 Thank you, Zero. Thank you. What the fuck? 
Is it not done? In the small town of Greenfield, Pennsylvania, nestled among the picturesque landscapes and rolling hills, there exists a story of extraordinary bravery that has become a beacon of hope and inspiration for the community. This narrative revolves around Sheriff Robert Holton, a man whose courage and selflessness came to define the spirit of heroism in the hearts of Greenfield resident, the res residents. It was a chilly autumn night in 1982 when the local family was abruptly awakened by the piercing sound of a fire alarm. Wee -oo, wee -oo, wee. The source of the disturbance was their neighbor's house. now consumed by an inferno that threatened to devour everything in its path. The family trapped inside, help, help, for the love of God, faced a dire situation with little hope for escape. In the midst of the chaos, Sheriff Robert Holton, already renowned for his unwavering dedication to the community, received the distress call. Without a moment's hesitation, he rushed to the scene, not as an observer, but a rescuer determined to defy the odds. Upon arrival, Sheriff Holton was met with the scene of sheer terror. The flames roared uncontrollably, painting an orange glow against the darkened night sky. The family, immobilized by fear, were visible through the thick smoke, desperately signaling for help in an upper floor window. Undeterred by the intensity of the blaze, Sheriff Holton swiftly coordinated with the local fire department to create a strategy for the daring rescue. With the flames raging around them, the sheriff and the department firefighters worked tirelessly to breach the burning structure. As the first responders battled the inferno, Sheriff Holton, equipped with a protective suit, charged into the smoke-filled building. Guided only by the distant cries of his family, he navigated through the treacherous environment with unparalleled determination. Finally reaching the upper floor, Sheriff Holden discovered the family huddled together in the room, rapidly succumbing to the encroaching flames. The urgency of the situation amplified as he ushered them towards the window, the only possible exit. And mixed the chaos, Sheriff Holton maintained an air of calm and reassurance, urging the family to trust him as he orchestrated their descent to safety. One by one, he carefully lowered them down with the help of the makeshift rope, ensuring their escape from the clutches of relentless fire. The heroic rescue concluded with the family safely reunited on the ground, and Sheriff Holton emerged from the inferno, unscathed but forever changed. The town of Greenfield hailed him as a true hero, and the events of that fateful night solidified him in his place in the hearts of the community. Now, four decades later, the legacy of Sheriff Robert Holden continues to inspire generations. The heroism displayed on that autumn night has become a symbol of courage, unity, and resilience, echoing through the quaint streets of Greenfield. As a testament, the indomitable spirit of one extraordinary sheriff. Someone's at the door. I'm coming, bro. Come on. Oh, what a window, dude. Hello? Sheriff Holton? Hi. Uh. Making all this ruckus. Folks around here can't get. Oh. 
She Why passed away. Be poking around her old place now. Uh, well, Sheriff, sometimes these cases have a way of lingering. The new residents are concerned, and they just want some closure. Closure, huh? Well, I reckon that's uh, understood. Uh, <laughs> I'm afraid my investigation can get a bit noisy at times. But if you don't mind me asking, why now? Why all this fuss over Mrs. Susan after all these years? It's my duty to follow up on any leads, Sheriff. Right now? I, I... Try to keep it down, will you? Don't need the whole town I up in arms not... over something. I... Ian, are you okay? Thank you, any key. The five get it up. Subs. Subs, five get it subs. Thank you. And the and the resub. Thank you. gonna be okay. I promise. This whole zoom bullshit sucks dick.
that's chat watching the game. This fucking time, I won't let anyone escape. What? Should have just stayed out of this. Now, you're. She chose that scumbag! It's all her fault. What? Don't you go hide, Carolyn, because I'll find you anyway. Hello? Can you hear me? In a stunning revelation, Detective Wyatt unraveled the dark truth behind the tragic deaths of Miss Susan and her husband. The culprit- I didn't understand a goddamn thing about the story. Like, what the hell just happened? The culprit was none other than their revered Sheriff Robert Holton, a man of authority and respect in the community. Jealousy had consumed him when Miss Susan chose another over him. I see. Letting him to commit a heinous act of vengeance. Oh. Guess it's over. Sheriff Holton's manipulation of the local news painted him as a hero, disguising his own sister's sinister deeds. He orchestrated the fire that engulfed Miss Susan's home while her family sat down to supper. Ruthlessly, oh. Ruthlessly ending their lives, but it wasn't enough. He went further, concocting a false narrative of heroism to cover his tracks. Wow. Okay. Miss Susan, far from taking her own life, as the fabricated report suggests, was found to have been pregnant with when the coroner examined her body. The extent of Sheriff Holton's depravity knew no bounds. Yet, in the face of such darkness, Detective Wyatt emerged as a beacon of truth and justice. With unwavering determination, he pieced together the evidence, unmasking Sheriff Holton's vile actions and bringing him to justice. When the police arrived at the scene, Wyatt stood amidst the tears, a hero in the midst of tra tragedy. Despite the pain and sorrow, his resolve remained unbroken, a testament to his commitment to seeking out the truth, no matter how dark or daunting the path might be. Ah. 
Ah, God. Oh, I guess she's gone finally. Just kidding. There's no way she's gone. Hey, Granny! Granny! Hi! She's gone. I can hear the dog snoring. So who was terrified that whole playthrough? Anyone else? That was really scary. Hi. Hey, what was that all about, by the way? Can you help me? Is anyone here? Are you friendly? They forgot one. Guys, do you know which, which command they forgot? 